It's Chris and Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks. Today, we made a gooey butter cake with a white lily lemon pound cake mix. Yummy! What's so good about using the, um, so many of y'all have used the cake mix and you haven't used the pound cake mix. What's so good about the pound cake mix is you know how the pound cake gets nice and crusty and crunchy on the top and it's the best part of the pound cake. That's how it gets on this gooey butter cake, okay? Mm -hmm. With a pound cake. And uh, if you've never tried it, please give it a try. Hey y'all, today we're making a gooey butter cake with a white lily lemon pound cake mix. It's gonna be delicious. Now, a lot of people just use a regular cake mix to do a gooey butter cake. Can I tell you to try the pound cake mixes because they come out so crunchy around the edges and it's so much better with a pound cake mix. Trust me on that one. Just give it a try. All right, we're gonna start out creaming a stick of butter with two eggs. and the pound cake mix. And today we're using the White Lily Lemon Pound Cake Mix. And I'm gonna mix this up. And this is your first layer that goes in your pan. I love this hand mixer because it has a nice, slow, low speed. Once I get most of this powder mixed up, then I'll turn it up. About to bog it down, ain't it? All right. This is your first layer that goes in your brownie pan. This actually fits in a brownie pan and it rises up high. It almost looks like it's gonna spill over while it's cooking, but it don't. So I've got this sprayed with Baker's Joy, and we're gonna put this bottom layer in our pan. It's nice and thick, so you're gonna to have to spread it with a spatula. Delicious, this thing is the bomb, ain't it, Chris? It's awesome. It is awesome. Most of y'all had one before. And if for any reason, bless your heart, you've never had a gooey butter cake, you need to make you one. I think this is what Paula Dean is famous for, but I'm yes. not sure that she actually invented it. No, she's got a version of it. I think the original butter cake is from uh, out of St. Louis, I believe, Tammy. Oh, really? I'm pretty sure. Cool. Chris has studied up on that one, I guess, because of all the comments we've gotten in the past. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're gonna do our second layer. And that is hard to spray a jaw. So if for some reason you can't use a spatula as good as me, cause I'm used to decorating cakes and it's not easy. Uh, wet, wet it a little bit and spread it out. It's not gonna hurt to put a little water on top of it. Okay. Now we're gonna mix up the second layer and I wanna start out by creaming an eight ounce cream cheese. with two eggs and some vanilla. Now we're gonna use some powdered sugar. We're gonna, but we're gonna mix this up good first, okay? And then put it in the powdered sugar is what we're gonna do. And you need to reserve a little bit of the powdered sugar for the top. So I'm just gonna scoop out a tiny bit right here. Just scoop out a tiny bit to put on the top of the cake. All right. And I'm just gonna leave this on my bed, right? That won't hurt nothing. There ain't no sense in having to wash it. Mm -hmm. 
Now, if you um, have real cold eggs, I would not recommend you using real cold eggs because you're gonna want this to mix up good in your powdered sugar and you don't want the cold eggs to make your cream cheese stiff all over again. We're gonna pour this into our powdered sugar and then finish mixing it up. Start out on low speed or you'll make a big mess. Two eggs, an eight ounce cream cheese, and some vanilla. It's got all the good stuff in it, don't it? Mm-hmm. I wonder if it tastes so good. Mm -hmm. Now I chose the batter bowl because of the powdered sugar. I didn't want it making too much of a mess on top of the counter when I started mixing it up. That way it was deep. Now you're gonna need to turn this up and get it creamy. All right, that looks good. All right, now all we do is put this on the top and um, it's gonna look full, it says, and that's okay. It's really easy to do, isn't it? Oh yeah. Another reason you want to use a pound cake is so that it fits better in the pan because a pound cake mix doesn't have as much uh, cake mix in it typically as a regular cake mix does. So we pour that on the top like it told us to. All right, we're going to bake it 15 minutes and it's going to cause the top to get a little bit set up. Then we're going to sprinkle powdered sugar on it and then bake it 45 more minutes. So you want the top, you don't wanna put your powdered sugar on there until it starts making a um, film over the top like a cheesecake does, okay? All right, it's time to put the powdered sugar on it. I'm just gonna slide it out this way and uh, take my powdered sugar, my timer off, take my powdered sugar and put it in here and just sprinkle it on the top. I'm gonna have to wipe off the oven. Okay. Just a good dusting like snow. It's all you need. Forty-five more minutes. Worth the fun. Our cake is done, and it looks so pretty. Show you how pretty it looks. See how it rises up? Now it falls a little bit after it cools down. Boy, we're gonna let it cool down and get us a piece. So you got the layer of You've got a layer of a creamy cheese on the top and then a cake layer on the bottom. It's really dense, it's so good. Oh my gosh, that's one of the best things I've put in my mouth in a long time. Woo, is that good, y'all. If for some reason you can't get your hands on that lemon white lily pound cake mix, Make sure you grab the regular pound cake mix and you can always throw in some lemon extract, okay? If you wanna try the lemon. It's amazing, I'm gonna let Chris taste it because it is so good. We will see. Uh. 
I really don't want to talk about it. You just want to eat it. I just it. want to eat it. <laughs> it's that good, y'all. Yeah. Let's, just... let's get off here and get us a piece. Y'all need to go on. All right, here you go. <clears throat> so, we just thank you so much. What's so good about using the... Um, so many of y'all have used the cake mix and you haven't used the pound cake mix. What's so good about the pound cake mix is you know how the pound cake gets nice and crusty and crunchy on the top and it's the best part of the pound cake. Well, that's how it gets on this gooey, buttery gooey. That's how it gets on this gooey butter cake, okay? Mm -hmm. With a pound cake. And uh, if you've never tried it, please give it a try. Yeah, you'll want the corner piece. Mm. You like the crust. It's delicious. Y'all have a wonderful day. It is so good. Y'all have a wonderful day. And we thank you so much for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. This recipe is in our Volume 3 cookbook. See you next time. Love ya. So go on now.